Federal Aviation Administration, and Transport Canada hold over time guidelines. Highlights and changes, for winter 2022-2023. The document has been divided into additional sections, and, flysheets have been added to the beginning of each new section. A disclaimer has been added to each flysheet, to provide context on the use of the words, must, shall, is required, or are required, within the document. The cautions for all tables have been moved to the flysheets at the beginning of each section. Guidance has been added to the main document structure and content section, describing the purpose of the notes, and where to find the applicable cautions for the holdover time guidelines, and allowance times tables. Fluid-specific holdover time guidelines have been created for two new fluids. Killfrost Ice Clear 2, Type 2 MKS Devo Core Ice Fob, Type 2 Fluid-specific holdover time guidelines have been added for all clear, aero clear max, for use on middle-speed aircraft. The holdover time guidelines for Beijing Yachtalite YD-102 Type 2, have been removed. Several increases have been made to the Type 2 generic holdover times, as a result of the removed fluid. Further testing in very cold snow, has enabled fluid-specific holdover times in very cold snow, less than minus 14 degrees Celsius, for the listed new Type 2 and existing Type 4 fluids. Killfrost Ice Clear 2, Type 2. MKS Devo Core Ice Fob, Type 2. AS Global 4 Flight EG, Type 4. AS Global 4 Flight PG, Type 4. Holdover times have been updated for AS Global 4 Flight PG, in very light, light, and moderate snow as a result of additional data being collected. A note was added to the Type 2 and Type 4 generic tables, stating that the fluid being used must be listed in tables 55 and 57 respectively, to use generic holdover times. A note was added to all holdover time tables, to allow use of freezing fog holdover times, in conditions of ice crystals mixed with freezing fog or mist. A note was added to all holdover timetables to allow use of snow holdover times, in conditions of very light, light, or moderate snow mixed with ice crystals. Generic holdover guidelines for, snow mixed with freezing fog, for SAE, Type 1, Type 2, Type 3, and Type 4 fluids added as Table 49 and adjusted Table 49. Aviation Shanxi High Tech Physical Chemical Company Limited has merged with Aviation Shen High Tech Physical Chemical Company Limited. As a result, the manufacturer name for the Type 2 fluid, Clean Wing 2, has been updated. Increases have been made to all the Type 4 ethylene glycol allowance times in the below minus 10 degrees Celsius to minus 16 degrees Celsius column. A decrease has been made to the Type 4 propylene glycol light ice pellets allowance time below minus 16 degrees Celsius to minus 22 degrees Celsius. The caution explaining takeoff allowance up to 90 minutes after fluid application, if precipitation stops, and the associated conditions, has been moved to a note. Minor editorial changes have been made to clarify which minimum rotation speeds apply, to which allowance times, and to the note on small hail reporting, to add clarity, on how meter indicates small hail, in various parts of the world. The snowfall intensities as a function of prevailing visibility table has been reformatted, and some values updated as a result of ongoing analysis and harmonization efforts between the FAA and Transport Canada. The list of fluids in tables 54 to 57 has been updated to reflect the latest information available on all the icing and anti-icing fluids. Keep your ground to icing and anti-icing procedures and training updated. This will promote safety, efficiency, environmental benefits. Let us know how we can help, and if you need customized versions of this video, or a PDF version. 
produced in collaboration with BizEV, Malta's leading aviation consultancy firm.